Hi, I'm Justin Green with Anderson & Vreeland. Today we're going to make a digital Cosmolite water wash plate utilizing the ESCO CDI Spark 4835 and the Anderson & Vreeland Orbital 10 processor. First, let's go back exposure plate. We'll be using the Anderson & Vreeland Orbital 10 for our back exposure. Simply open the drawer, place the material in back up, and close the drawer. For this material on this machine, we'll be doing a minute and a half for our back exposure. Simply press start. Now that we've back exposed the plate, I want to mount the plate to the laser, set it on top, remove the cover sheet, and line it up to the guides on the laser. Now we'll open the cover and mount the plate to the drum. If you notice, the size of our plate is actually smaller than the size of the drum. Through partial plate mode, ESCO allows you to run any size plate on the drum. To do this, we'll secure the lead edge into the clamp and then use tape to secure any loose edges. We'll use the foot pedal to raise the clamp and the foot pedal again to close the clamp. Run our plate around and then use our tape to secure the edges. Now that we've taped the tail edge, it's time to tape the sides of the plate. So now you can see the tail edge and both sides are taped with the lead edge in the clamp. After you've taped the plate, you want to look at the ruler on the clamp to determine where your laser should start so you don't image the tape. For example, on this job, we're going to start at 60 millimeters. Now we're going to close the cover and go to the computer to prepare our job. So I've already prepared a four color fingerprint file through our rip. Let's go get the files and get our plate ready. Let's open up the files drag them into the ESCO merge software and now we need to tell our plate size that it is a partial plate. So we'll go to our drum window select partial plate and enter the dimensions of our plate. So around the drum our dimensions are 635 millimeters the width is 762 millimeters and if you notice, our plate size changed. So now we'll go back into Merge and use the Auto Arrange function. This will allow the software to arrange your images for you automatically. We then need to go and select the plate we're running. In this case, we're running the QS067. Go Start, Expose, and this will send the job to the imager. Now, because it's a partial plate, it's going to ask you a few questions. So you tell it's a partial circumference, it's going to tell you that the speed and power are going to be changed. Hit OK, and it'll send it to the imager. Once the file has been sent to the imager, we go to the expose window. This controls the laser itself. We need to set the laser head. If you remember, because of the tape, we need to start the laser at 60 millimeters. And that, hit enter. It's going to move the laser head. And once we've determined everything is OK, we'll hit the start button to start the imaging. Now that the plate's finished imaging, we'll open the cover and take a look at it. Everything looks clean. Now we can take it off the drum. Once the tape's removed, Slide the plate off the drum, turn off our vacuum, and release the clamp with the foot pedal. Now that the plate's off the drum, it's time for the face exposure. This is the Anderson and Vreeland Orbital 10. We'll be using it to process our water wash plate. 
We'll open up the drawer for the main exposure, set our plate in. Now if you notice, there's no crean for this. This is a digital plate without the use of a film negative. There is no need for a crean. We'll close the drawer. Now depending upon the equipment and the material, your times can change. For the Orbital 10 and the Cosmolite QS, we use a 10 minute main exposure. So go ahead and push start and let it expose. The nice thing about the Anderson and Vreeland Orbital 10 is that it's an all-in-one unit. There's a washout section, an exposure section, and a dryer section. Now that our main exposure is complete, we'll take the plate out of the exposure section and put it into the washout. We're going to mount it to the washout platen. Make sure it's flat. Now we're going to close the hood, drop our plate into the washout bath with a brush. Lock our hood down and start the washout. For this unit, it's 12 minutes. Now the washout is complete. We'll release the clamps and raise the hood. Now we'll use a water bottle to rinse off any residual soap on the plate. Once we're done rinsing off the plate, we want to get the sponge roller and squeegee off our plate. This will remove any excess water from the surface of the plate and help the drying process. As you can see, our plate's been washed out. We're utilizing the Anderson and Vreeland Whirl Away to remove the polymer from our washout solution. Next, we're going to remove the plate from the washout platen and put it in the dryer. dry for 10 to 15 minutes. After the plate's dry, we'll take it out of the dryer drawer and move it to our post exposure drawer. On the Orbital 10, the post exposure is done in the same drawer where you do the back and face exposure. Set our plate in, close the drawer, then we'll need to change the time to our post exposure time. In this case, five minutes. Once our post exposure is complete, we'll take the plate out of the drawer and move it to our DTAC drawer. Then close it and turn on our DTAC bolts. In this case, five minutes. Once the DTAC is complete, we'll take the plate out of the drawer and do a quick inspection. Everything looks good, it's time to trim it and mount it for press.